All right, got some mail today, so uh, let's do let's do a post bag. All right, let's just move all this to the side. We'll start with this one. This one is labeled LED chip. This is what I think I, it is. I'm happy. Of course, I'm always happy when I'm opening post, aren't I? Um, this is not what I think it was. This is not an LED chip. Why does that say LED chip? Okay, this isn't what I was thinking it was. This is something different that I'm actually... I th didn't think I was going to receive. It's a little 5.5 um, by 2.1 millimeter um, DC power jacks, a uh, male and a female one. And then on the ends, it's got these little push buttony grabby things. Um, let's grab something random here off the screen and see how well that works. Oh, that's not a good sign so far. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's uh, got a pretty nice grab to it there. Um, I've been ordering various different versions of these. Um, I've got the ones with the screw terminals, but I saw these and I was like, wow, push button grabby bits. And figured, hey, that seems like a good idea. So, nice result there. All right, let's go to the other small one. Uh, this one is labeled one terminal. No idea. All right, so let's quickly slice that one open. Got some. Oh, wow, those got here really fast. Good grief. You know, it's funny, sometimes these things will take months and months and months to get here, and then other times it's like, yeah, ordered these a couple of weeks ago. I think it's even less than that. Um, you may remember a while back I got some of that um, carbon fiber heating wire. Well, these are the uh, terminators for that. You take the carbon wire, put it in one end, and you take another wire and you put it in the other end, and you crimp the front of the tube onto the insulation of the wires, and then you crimp the middle of the tube down onto the carbon fiber and whatever wire you're terminating it onto. Wow, I am absolutely amazed that I think these took less than a month to get here. That's That's got to be some sort of record. And then one last one here. Let's dump everything on the floor over there. I actually have a trash can for in here finally. I just need to set it up. All right, let's see what we've got. Ah, it's a kit. A kit with many parts. A kit with many parts. Look at how busy that PCB is. Holy mackerel. Look at all that. Jeez. And then we've got a bag of parts for it, which of course is, holy mackerel, that's a lot of parts. All right, what do we have here? We've got um, a pack of, I'm assuming, blue LEDs, a pack of red LEDs, a pack of green LEDs. Uh, let's see. Um, Big mess of resistors, some loose signal diodes just kind of rattling around here. Man, this is a, this is a busy project. All right, and there's a little ceramic capacitor trapped in here. Let's uh, get that out. The bunch of different resistors. This is very colorful. We got some greens and blues and purples, reds, oranges. Neato. Okay. Uh, just a lift, loose blue one there. Um, wow, okay. And then we've got a bunch of capacitors and some power wire and a, a big power transistor or something. Let's see, what do we have? L7806. Oh, that's a 6-volt voltage regulator. That's interesting. 
Then we've got some pots and a bunch of transistors and a little microphone. Has anybody figured out what this is yet based on the uh, parts? Uh, this is a little LED view meter. So basically, and it's got a, a microphone, which is nice. I was just thinking about this today, uh, wondering um, how I was going to set it up if it didn't have a microphone, but it's got a microphone in it. Um, and we'll go ahead and zoom down on the on the board here. Um, you can see that uh, there's a bunch of transistors that are used for switching the LEDs, a bunch of capacitors, uh, other transistors, probably this is an amplifier circuit for the LEDs. Um, we've got some transistors here, which are probably the uh, sensitivity adjustments, some filter caps probably there, microphone, amplifier circuit for the microphone. Um, yeah, it's, it's an LED view meter with a lot of components. This is going to take so long to make. But here's the cool part. You may have noticed that there aren't any instructions packed. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to show too well here on camera, but the board is entirely populated with the component values. So although it's really super busy, um, I'll be able to figure out which are the appropriate values because they're printed on the board. So um, that's a nice result. Anyway, that's enough post for today. Uh, if you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting based on your watch habits. Right over here is the post bag playlist, and right here is a link to my Patreon uh, where you can sign up to help support videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.